Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Brazil's first drone delivery operation will use Parazero's parachute system, Autel Enterprise promotes Made in the USA drone program, and Boeing Australia fires up the first loyal wing aircraft. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Latin American drone delivery company Speedbird Aero has received regulatory approval from Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency to operate two experimental drone delivery routes in Brazil. Speedbird Aero operates a proprietary delivery drone with an integrated para-zero parachute recovery system and is now the first company in Latin America to win regulatory approval for a drone delivery operation. Speedbird Aero has partnered with food delivery company iFood to offer an on-demand food delivery service that combines drone delivery with other platforms of last mile transportation, including motorcycles, bicycles, scooters, and e-bikes. For the first delivery route, Drones will pick up orders from the rooftop of a large shopping complex in Sao Paulo and transport them to a nearby iFood pickup hub, where awaiting couriers will shuttle the orders to their final destinations. Each delivery route will take the drones approximately two minutes to fly. For the second delivery route, drones will fly Biblos to a secondary iFood pickup hub approximately 1.5 kilometers away. This phase will enable a broader distribution footprint and is expected to begin in December. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. The Academy of Model Aeronautics, the EAA, AOPA, and Google's Project Wing have joined together to send a letter to the FAA, urging them to make essential changes to the proposed rule for remote ID of UAS. The stakeholders share the concern that the current rule is too difficult for everyday hobbyists to comply with, and alternatives aren't needed. In the letter, the groups describe how if hobbyists cannot comply with the complexities of the amateur build requirements, they will be confined to a small number of FAA-recognized identification areas, which the FAA anticipates there will only be 2,400 of these sites in the entire U.S. In an effort to safely and humanely rescue marine mammals, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University has partnered with marine biologists in a Verizon drone management platform to monitor animals in distress using unmanned aircraft systems. Attempting to reach mammals in need from the shore or by boat can sometimes disturb them and cause distress. However, drones can be used to assess similar situations without worsening the animal's condition. The research team, which included an ERAU assistant professor and an adjunct faculty member, used Skyward, a drone management system owned by Verizon, to assess the decibel and frequency levels at which drones operate in the marine environment. The team will not only be supplying their findings to the marine biologists, but also to the government and agencies that issue permits so they can have a better understanding of what aircraft works best in these types of environments. 
Amazon Prime Air has been granted Part 135 certification from the FAA to start trial operations of drone deliveries, allowing Amazon to join the ranks of UPS and Alphabet's wing, who have already received some limited FAA approval for drone delivery. The drone delivery system is designed to carry packages weighing as much as 5 pounds up to 15 miles away, all in 30 minutes or less. The program is also part of their sustainability initiatives to help achieve what Amazon calls Shipment Zero, the company's vision to make all Amazon shipments net zero carbon, with 50% of all shipments net zero by 2030. As part of their airport unmanned aircraft systems detection and mitigation research program, the FAA plans to evaluate technologies and systems that could detect potential safety risks posed by UAS. Evaluations are expected to begin later this year at the FAA's William J. Hughes Technical Center, and the FAA plans to test at least 10 technologies or systems. After the initial testing and evaluations in New Jersey, the agency expects to expand the effort to four additional U.S. airports. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. UAV manufacturer Autel Robotics is releasing its Autel Evo 2 Dual Enterprise UAS Bundle, a rapid deployment packable unmanned aircraft made in the USA with some foreign and U.S. components and labor created for public sector and enterprise use. My name is Joseph. My name is Alejandro. I'm Greg. I'm Belinda, and I'm proud to be part of Autel's Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Made in the USA initiative. Autel is proud to be made in the USA. The Autel Evo 2 Dual is specifically designed to aid public safety personnel in identifying persons and objects in the dark through smoke or fog and offers public safety personnel the highest resolution IR camera available, coupled with a second separately functioning 8K resolution RGB camera. The 8K camera provides police and fire personnel deep detail zoom capability, 40 minute flight time, and ability to stream video to any command location or mobile data terminal when coupled with the Autel Live Deck with an airframe from China, IR and thermal cameras from FLIR in the USA, and Sony imagers from Japan. The final product is assembled in Bothell, Washington with American labor. Autel aircraft may be flown without connecting a mobile device, as the remote control offers a 3.3-inch display for FPV. When connected to a mobile device for preview and autonomous flight modes, the mobile device may be put into airplane mode once local maps have been downloaded for mission planning. Boeing Australia has powered up the commercial turbofan engine on the first Loyal Wingman aircraft as part of ground testing and preparations for first flight. This milestone comes on the heels of Boeing completing the first unmanned Loyal Wingman aircraft for the Royal Australian Air Force earlier this year, a major step forward for the unmanned vehicle serving as the foundation for the global Boeing air power teaming system, an artificial intelligence powered teaming aircraft developed for the global defense market. Dr. Shane Arnott, Program Director of the Boeing Air Power Teaming System stated, This engine run gets us closer towards flying the first aircraft later this year and was successful thanks to the collaboration and dedication of our team. We've been able to select a very light, off-the-shelf jet engine for the unmanned system as a result of the advanced manufacturing technologies applied to the aircraft. The Boeing Air Power Teaming System provides a disruptive advantage for Allied Forces manned and unmanned missions. And that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and for more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you right back here Friday to wrap up the week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited. Mm -hmm.